Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I got a one more interesting workaround that actually I'm going to perform and it is quite handy when it comes to like enhancing your dashboard and visuals. So before going into that, uh, please check out my channel and I have uploaded certain problem statements and try to solve in a simplest manner. And if these really, this video helps you to enhance your power base skills, please do like and subscribe my channel. So let's come back to the problem statement. Uh, so let's say we have a one card visual where I'm trying to show the my the sales of a particular year uh, with respect to the region or something like this. Let's say for a central region, uh, there is a certain uh, sales amount for East, there will be some certain sales. So how it can actually, can we improve this kind of uh, visual like the card that you are seeing right now or uh, something with respect to uh, this one if i just show you so if you see this one so if you see here this is the same thing the card uh this is also the card new power bi like uh, recently they have actually introduced this thing so can we uh, convert this particular chart uh, a card into something like this which looks more appealing more presentable uh, and it enhances your dashboard to a next level for example let's say if i just select south and east so the total sales will be let's say above in certain threshold value we can also change the color background and all, all the things so for this uh, uh, the first requirement that it should uh, uh, have is like your power bi should be updated it has to be the like after 2022 2023 july uh, this is my the current version so that i'm what, what i'm using so let's see how i can create this kind of a visuals uh, using uh, power bi so for this this is if you see here if i just click on the card this is the card that i have selected but if i click here uh, there is the new visual that has came into it. this this is the called the card new so which we have which we will we'll going to use here so what i can do is just create a new card visual uh here and first let me do a bit of formatting and something like this so let me add the sales value here sorry my bad yes i have selected yes so so this is the sales value that i am going to use with you now uh as if you see below uh it is the in the right alignment the sales is on the bottom side the size uh the shape is also a bit different so what i can do i can just go into format the visual and if you see here the different values will be there uh, like card and uh, so what I can do first, uh, let me check uh, layout. Let me do the go to straight to the card first. And let me do the first alignment. So alignment should be central uh, for this. Uh, we need an accent bar as well. If you see the accent bar is uh, we have already there. It should be on the left position side. And let me increase the, sorry, transparency should be zero. Width, let me increase the width. So depending on the shape and the size that you can try it out and the different what are the uh, layouts you can try out or reference label images also can be included. Uh, I'm going to perform soon soon for the images also. Uh, so for if you see in the card, the shape is rectangle. So we can go and the rounded, we can take something like this and uh, just no, oh, we cannot. So I need to off this thing. So rounded is done background let's have a border a bit more on a black color so it looks good and increase its width so it looks good now what else we need padding is done alignment is done then i can go to let let me do now what it requires the sell out values if you see the size it depends on your dashboard what kind of a uh, font and you want it let me do the left alignment and uh, what i can do display units let's keep it as a thousand as of now and decimal places at zero decimal places so we are here we are done and for label we can do let's say total sales Total sales, uh, color is something we can take it as black just to make a difference. 
let me increase the size and let me place below so if you see this one and let me do the normal and increase the size to 15. so this is the simple that actually it will vary with respect to the whatever the slicers you will apply but it still lacks the conditional formatting as of now so for, for conditional formatting there are two conditional formatting that we need to apply first on the value second we have this x in bar on the left side so we need to add this for this we need to create a measure so let me do one thing let me go here and click a new measure uh, so is taking a bit time conditional formatting uh, then what we need if my sales value sum of sales value is greater than let's say 1 to 120k then one else zero so if it is one then we will say that okay condition has met and we can convert that color into green if it is not met then we can call it as something else so let me do quickly here hit enter and now i have to go to this sell out value uh, call out value and i have to go to this color and we can add this color here so let me do rules we need to conditional uh, this thing if it is zero then the condition has not met so i can make it as red let me do one thing uh, if it is equals to one then it met the condition so let me do as green this is something depends on like uh, whatever the formatting that you are going to use so if you see if the text has been done what about the accent bar so we can go here again we can go here again call out values we have to go to the card section then if you see here we have the accent bar which we have kept on the left side then we can just call the same field here also if I go here equals to zero if it is zero then I have to make it red if it is equals to one which it meets our condition we can take it as any green or something like this this is in and this is done so this is easy actually so it it looks way better than what we are actually seeing right now here so the, it de since this is green maybe it depends on the condition formatting whichever i have selected the different threshold values here so that's why it's looking something odd if i just select this thing and this if you see like this so all this is all like how you can actually enhance your card visual to a next level and it can give so if you format it properly and arrange these things in a way it can definitely enhance your dashboard a lot and so hope you are able to follow this work around if you are able to please check out my channel and please subscribe and like the and share the video thank you so much follow for more power bi updates